Donald Trump is a supporter of the alt-right. No, I, I think Donald Trump is a kind of alt-right hero. Uh, Donald Trump was that, f Donald Trump and the alt-right have a deep connection and because we're both about identity. The alt-right is about identity. I mean, it, it, look, I, I kind of like the idea of the alt-right as a general catch-all term, you know, like you're, you're against the mainstream, you, you, you're, you know, you don't like uh, the liberals or Hillary or whatever. But if the alt-right is going to really, that's fine, but if the alt-right is going to really have meaning, it has to be about identity. It has to be identity politics for white people in the 21st century. That's what the alt-right is. It's a true alternative. But you don't think he's a supporter of the alt-right? No, I, I just said that. I think he's a kind of hero. He's a kind of meme of the alt-right, you could say. But uh, no, I do not think Donald Trump is Richard Spencer. I don't think uh, Donald Trump would be the president that I, you know, exactly that I would want. What I see is that Donald Trump, if Donald Trump's a kind of arrow, he's pointing in our direction. He's pointing towards identity politics, and he's not pointing towards the conservatism of George W. Bush and so on. In terms of feminism, uh, look, uh, feminism has seduced many women into thinking that, oh, men are wrong, I need to be myself, I need to have a career, I need to do this. They wake up, they're 45, they're living with cats, and they are extremely unhappy. Feminism has not brought a lot of happiness into this world. They live with cats? What is that? Uh, many of them literally live with cats, but I'm obviously making a colorful joke. I, know, but this is I would actually this be is interested... What do you, what do you, say what you mean, though, instead of making a pun. I mean, you're saying that women are less... I'm not making a pun. That they're not happy with their lives? I, mean, there's I would say lives. many, many women who are alone who have pursued a career at the expense of children and a family are absolutely not happy. Yes, I would say that. But long term, are we talking a United States of white people? Uh, the United States is a European country. The United, the United States was founded first and foremost in, by Anglo-Protestants. After the Civil War, it, it developed a, a broader European character. You can't get away from that. You can't get away from Europeanness as defining what the United States means, what America means, what citizenship means, its culture, and so on. Now, could, is that changing? Obviously it is. Could that change in a, in a radically new direction? Yes. Uh, so, I mean, when, you talk, when I'm talking about like white America, that, that really is about the past. And it's about something maybe we could draw from, but it is about the past. What we need to think about right now is consciousness is about European people having a sense of themselves.